Hello, um, today's short video is um, going to demonstrate several techniques to help you reduce stress. This was requested by several of the followers and um, I wanted to meet that need because I'm thinking if others are asking for this, probably more people out there are looking for ways to reduce stress and anxiety. And so let's go ahead and let's get started. These are really simple moves that you can do anywhere, anytime. In fact, it's actually great to practice these several times during the day. Um, we may be having negative thoughts or feeling tension in our body and not even recognizing it, especially now with the pandemic affecting so many of us in different ways, whether we have the children at home or we're not at work. Um, we're going to the grocery store and we see shortages or you turn on the television, right? And the news is everywhere. And so these messages are affecting us even if we don't even realize it. And so here's a couple couple ways to reduce that stress. Um, this is through energy healing and there's science behind these. So they look simple and you might think, oh, they can't be effective. But there's a lot of research that shows how effective these moves really are. So the first one, you're going to take a hand, you're going to set it on your shoulder. A lot of times you have a little tension through here and put a little bit of weight on it and then pull that hand down across your body. I'm going to release that. Let's do the other side. Just put a little bit of pressure right here. Pull that arm down and release. Oh, that feels good. Let's do it a couple more times. A little weight. Pull your hand across and release. Other side. Pull down and release. Nice. How simple is that? You could do it while sitting at the desk, while you're out with the kids. Um, just release some of that tension and let it go. Um, another move is releasing the tension from inside our chest. And so we take a deep breath in and that alone feels relaxing. It brings us into the parasympathetic um, nervous system. But we're going to release some of this. So we're going to take a deep breath in. I'm going to take a deep breath out. And as you release, I want to hear some sound, right? So take a deep breath in. And as you let it go, really let it go. When I first started this, I felt a little uncomfortable. So I would do this in the shower so no one else could hear me. But now, now my husband's like, ah, oh, there goes Denise again. It feels so good, though, to release this tension. And maybe if you practice this in front of your children, in front of your partner, they're going to say, hey, that, that feels kind of good. I'm going to practice it, too. So take a deep breath in. And let it go. You feel better already, don't you? This last move, oh, not the last move, but not the next move is something that animals do. If you've ever seen an animal get chased or they get really fearful, when they're done and they start to relax, they'll like shake it, right? They just release it through their body. And this is a kinetic release. And so you can just kind of shake your shoulders, shake your arms, but really release that tension that's built up inside your body just by shaking it off, releasing it, release it, release it. Whew. All right. So now we've released some of the tension through this energy movement, letting it go through our breath and through kinetic movement, releasing it. And so we've let go of some of this tension, some of this anxiety and we've created space in our body. If we don't fill it, it will be filled, that void will be filled by something else that maybe we don't choose. And so let's choose to fill this space with something positive. Um, you might have heard the law of attraction. There's also the law of vacuum. If you've created a void, that void will be filled. And so let's make some conscious choice to fill that void with positivity or calmness. And so today we're going to fill that void with some calmness. And so we're going to breathe in deeply, bring our arms up and exhale, bringing our hands to our heart space, thinking of calm, relaxation. I'm going to add something to this. As we inhale, 
bringing our arms up, inhaling through our nose. We're going to exhale with a hum. So we're gonna close our mouth. Our tongue is gonna to rest at the roof of our mouth and we're going to hum. And this hum creates a vibration, which creates a chemical reaction, which brings calmness to the nervous system. So let's go ahead and inhale, arms up. Exhale, bringing your hands to your heart as you hum. Inhale, arms up. Exhale with a hum. Last time, inhale up. This allows the body to move into rest and digest, it allows the body to heal. It also breaks those patterns or negativity that might be occurring that we don't even realize. This is a good practice if you feel your anxiety rising, maybe you read something or you saw something on television and you felt a little tension or the kids are running around and you're feeling a little stressed. You can practice these simple moves just to release some of that stress. Maybe you don't feel anxiety, maybe you're not feeling the stress. It's still good to practice this at least three times a day. So you can set your alarm, maybe you do it in the morning, 12 o'clock, midday, do it in the evening before you go to bed. Or if you find yourself feeling a little tension in your neck, a tension in your body, feeling a little bit of a headache, Bring in these moves to introduce calmness and rest. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration. Really simple moves that you can add to help bring some brightness to your life. Until next time we see you again, be well.